Hi, I'm Jason Weinberger, conductor of the Waterloo Cedar Falls Symphony, welcoming you to another episode of Music Makes Me, our series for curious young listeners. Today's guest is WCF Symphony percussionist Kramer Milan, who is an unbelievable musician. And normally when you think of his area of the orchestra, the percussion section, you think of a cacophony of sounds, all kinds of different instruments, and some of them really, really loud. Well, in today's episode, Kramer is going to introduce us to one special instrument in the percussion section that can give us entirely different feelings. My name's Kramer, and I'm a percussionist in the Waterloo Cedar Falls Symphony. And that means it's my job to play a variety of instruments. And on that track you just heard, I played this wonderful instrument here called the marimba. Now, the marimba is a wonderful instrument. It's nine feet long, and you might kind of wonder how in the world is the sound being made? Well, this instrument uses wooden bars that vibrate once you strike it with a mallet. And when it vibrates, it produces air that moves through these big old tubes down here called resonators. It's actually very similar to a pipe organ. So, the marimba, it creates this beautiful organic tone that is just perfect for the calm quality of this music. Let me show you how that goes. When I'm playing, I actually have to use four mallets holding two in each hand. And it's this grip, you know, I'm, I'm thinking a million miles a minute trying to make sure that my hands are in the right place, I got it gripped all in the right way, but you know what? I practice quite a bit. We're actually in my teaching studio at the University of Northern Iowa right now. And the, one of the ways that I practice is just by holding my mallets and making sure that I'm really comfortable and relaxed in my grip. So, I make my Star Trek sort of sign, make a part with between my middle and my ring finger, and that's where one mallet goes, and then my other mallet is held by my first finger, my thumb, and my middle finger, just like so. And I play with a nice wrist rotation as I do that. So, as I play, I have many things to think about, but what I want to do for this music is emote and feel as calm and relaxed as I can. So I rely on all that practice and work that I've done to stay relaxed, and I try to get myself into a headspace that is very peaceful, that is very sort of meditative. Maybe I might take a big old deep breath before I play, so I can really feel that emotion that I'm trying to bring out to the audience. You. One of the ways that I can change my sound as I play is actually by using different mallets. So, I'm going to change 
to a different set of mallets that are actually made out of rubber and play the example again for you. And I want you to notice, how does that sound differ? Does that make me feel different about the music? So, listen in. necessarily make me feel as calm anymore. So, when I am trying to make my choices as a performer and how to bring out this calm sort of feeling, I want to use soft yarn mallets. These, these mallets are made out of yarn, the same type of yarn you might have out of a really cozy sort of sweater or scarf, and this sort of allows me to have a very soft and warm tone. Okay, so let me play a little bit of that again so you can hear how my choices as a performer can make a huge difference in how it feels for you. So there we have a much more calm, sonorous, warm, and resonant sound. And when I get to do this, I um, really, it just brings me so much joy because what I feel, I can put that through the music. And being a musician is just so incredibly fun and fulfilling because I can bring out all these characters and qualities through my technique, through my mallets, through how I feel as I play, and to how I physically relax and stand, sort of in a calm, meditative manner. And so as I play, I'm able to bring out these qualities so that you can hopefully feel them too.